Awesome. Thank you so much for what a great introduction. I'm really excited to be here today. Um, yes, I am the designated motivator. That's just my thing. I, I love my accounting buddies. I love all of you that are here today. I care about your practice. You know, what I'm here to do, Daniel and I are here to help you uh, get your mind ready and get yourself ready and your firm ready for a great upcoming tax season. I know some of you probably will, and you can put it in the questionnaire if you want. It has been painful couple of years, okay? And I know that I've been through it with you. Um, you know, just the pain, the, I call it kind of like the tornado tax season, uh, torture tax season. But, you know, I wrote this book because I'm, I was just super excited about dumping my brain out for you guys. And so what Daniel and I are going to talk about are just a few pieces that are in the book today. Uh, for those of you who do book a demo with a Smart Vault at the end of this, we'll receive an e-digital copy of the book as well. So I'm hoping that even if there's one thing in there that you take away and your practice becomes more profitable and more efficient, then I've done my job and it was worth every moment of my time doing it. So excited about that. But Daniel, I'm going to let you go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, hi everybody. My name is Daniel Fritz. I'm the director of products over here at Smart Vault, I'm located out of Houston, Texas, and uh, I've been doing this for a couple of years. Very excited to help get you guys for a really successful tax season. So yeah, I think we're just gonna have we're gonna have a good time. I know Daniel and I always do. There'll be a lot of energy. I can tell you that. Uh, we love to just move you in the right direction. And and really, what That's we're right. trying to do today is that motivation mindset. Turn it on. I always tell people to open up your coconut. Now, this is your coconut it's on top of your shoulders and to say, listen, OK, I've been doing things the same way for this many years or there are certain pain points that I'm just been struggling with. So this is an, a one hour opportunity for you to invest some time in you and invest some time in your firm. And that's the mindset we want to see you have as we go through this today. OK, and for me, Smart Vault actually has been my MVP. Um, resource and my tool that I've been using for, I think, since the beginning I've been doing, since SmartFault ever came along. Yeah, it's I've, been a long time. <laughs> it has been, Daniel, has it not? It absolutely has. It's been at least like, what, 10 years, I think, that we've been in your oh, stack? I, I, when I left the other firm, we were actually using SmartFault at my other, my old firm. So that's got to be since like 2009, 2010, maybe 2008. So that's awesome. really, our whole goal, Daniel and I today, is to have this conversation and to help you guys figure out where are your players coming from. Your players are your tools and your applications that help you run your practice. And so we want you to, to keep that in mind today. So really, we know true tax season productivity, it starts before you touch the first return. Now, number one, if you obviously are purchasing tax software, so those of you that are tax professionals, some of you may not be on the call, which is interesting and, and I'd love to hear like kind of what do you guys, what do you guys do out there uh, so that we can kind of get a feel for it. But um, just wanna let you know, just think about this. We've already invested in our tax software. We invest in our applications and we do that before we even pick up one return. So it's important for us to be thinking ahead to say, okay, I, I know that it's game time really, okay? This is game time, tax season. We're in the like the tight, preseason almost like preseason football or preseason baseball mm -hmm. where we're right daniel so it's oh, time to think about that Tell, what do you think about that so i especially yeah absolutely i love your allusion to the preseason because i this is when we are most active at smart this is when we're migrating people over from other technologies getting you guys in there and prepping your firm because that's one of the greatest things about smart Vault is that we make it so easy to scale you, there's no more manual entry. There's permissions are taken care of, invitations. You get a portal that your clients can get into. You can request documents. I'm sure we'll talk about that in a little bit, but it all goes back to saving you guys time. And I know Don's gonna talk about this a ton, so I'm not gonna steal too much of that, but that profit and that ROI is so important. Do more with less. And that's really, really key here. You know, and I love what John said. John put something in the questionnaire, I think is a great point right here as to what you're saying. Publication 1075, okay, we're all, well, if you're not familiar with it, you should get familiar with it, but it's tax information security guidelines for federal, state, and local agencies. John, it's absolutely what we're talking about. We have to make sure that our client's information is secure. So you need to be able to have a tool that is scalable, like Daniel said, okay, that helps you be more profitable because you're more efficient and you get a return on that investment right 
And so we know that before we first touch that first return, we've got to do that. Okay. And so one of the other things too that is really important, not just picking a tool that helps you become efficient and help you define your processes, but they've got to be integrated. Mm -hmm. Now, what I love about Smart Vault is that I print my tax returns right to Smart Vault. I don't have to print them to a PDF and then upload them or, or put them somewhere else. If you have LeCert Pro Series, those they are basically connected, which is super awesome, right? Yeah. And so yeah. that. Tell about talk about that integration a little yeah, bit. Yeah, absolutely. So you, we are the only document storage solution that is connected directly to Lacert and Pro Series. We have a really close relationship with the guys at Intuit, and so even if it is a new client that you've never worked on before, you can go from having nothing in Smart Vault to having all their return printing directly from Lacert in about 30 seconds. So you print it, it creates the account, creates all the folders, creates the engagement and has all of that prepped and ready with the right permissions. And that makes it so easy. And, and really to Don's point, if you're not integrating, that's time you're losing. That's time that you're using downloading and then uploading. That is time that you're spending trying to find something, trying to find a document. And that's where we really make it really simplistic for you guys. So so Daniel, there's a couple of good comments in here. Um, so, so Smart Vault does support actually any tax software. And the reason for that is a Smart Vault print driver. That's right? correct. So you want to talk a little bit about that, Daniel? Yeah, absolutely. So whenever you print, uh, you know, the drop down boxes that we actually create a new printer within in your, your system. And there's a Smart Vault to PDF printer, and you can choose exactly what client that's going to go to. You can create new clients through that. And you can utilize our desktop software to choose directly where it goes. I was working with a client the other day. I see that there's a mention about UltraTax. Uh, who was that? George. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I was working with a guy who's been, he was on Smart Vault with Lacert for several years. And now he's trying, trying to transition out his practice. And the person he wants to sell it to uses UltraTax. So he has converted to UltraTax, but he still uses Smart Vault. And it's super super easy because you could set document destinations with their print to file and it'll go directly to this auto file and all you have to do is just choose hey this is that client and it's going to go in there and so yeah. any tax software that you're using well and and let's take it take it even a step further not just tax software okay so if you're using let's say quickbooks you're using zero you're using a, some cch product doesn't matter whatever kind of accounting solution if you're printing you want to print reports that you can provide to your client or you're doing maybe a month end close and you're, you have all your work papers and all your stuff that you want to print. You can also um, do, use the print driver for all those other applications that may not be that direct connect, same thing. Absolutely. I'll be honest. You know, I, I as the director of products, I have, a, a, you can imagine, a number of smart vaults and I, I use it in my personal life even. It makes it so easy for me to say like, hey, that's something that I've got to do to this company, that company. And and yeah, absolutely. In my professional uh, realm, I print things into that all the time because I ha always have the connected desktop ready for me. That's where I keep all of my files. It's super secure and it's where everything's in the same place because that's a central document repository so like oh where is that document there's that that question doesn't exist anymore it's you just go to the client and the documents are there in your designed hierarchy and what we call structure and that makes it so easy and so predictable so if you're you're bringing on somebody new if you're continuing to scale your practice that's huge you say like oh this is the workflow and it's never going to be different it's going to be the same folders the same experience every single time yeah, and another really great um, another really great question or another comment before we get to our first polling question. Um, one of the questions was, what about as far as like seasonal users? What I love about that about SmartVault is you pay by the month. So if let's say you brought on you know four seasonal staff for tax season only, you would only grant them access. Let's just say maybe January, January, February, March, and April, and then when they're mm -hmm. done with work, you take their you take them off of as a user which is you know, great flexibility to allow people to bring people on and take people off, especially in the seasonal mm -hmm. world. Yeah, absolutely. Can you send your, your uh, 1099s and W-2s to Smart Vault? Yes. So um, you're using CFS, I'm using tax 1099. We go ahead and we, again, we use the print driver 
We use the print driver to smart vault to put those into the into the permanent storage, which we're going to talk a little bit about some differences between yeah. when what we think about maybe Lysio, we talk about smart vault and how that how they all can work and play together. So that's important. And we will move on. How about that, Daniel? Let's do it. I like it. I love thank you guys. One out of every five of you guys on smart vault. Appreciate that. Appreciate well, the love. Look forward to keep, keeping you guys happy. Yeah, and like I said before, SmartBall has been in my starting lineup, and, and we're going to talk a little bit about how what this whole starting lineup thing is. For those of you who have not heard me talk about the starting lineup, uh, it's all a softball reference. I volunteer coach at Eastern Connecticut State University, and and actually they taught me that I was a designated motivator. I didn't even know that was a thing, and it really is. But um, but we're going to reference some softball stuff uh, and baseball if you like baseball. So. It's important to get your A players warmed up now, your starting lineup, the technology you need to use in order to have that successful, profitable, and efficient tax season, okay? And really, I don't know, if you don't know Daniel or you don't know Rachel, the Rachels, we'll call them, or Dania or anybody like that that is with SmartFall or Ivy, if you've never talked to them, they are on a mission to make us, the practitioners, productive and happy. And they listen to feedback, which is one of my biggest recommendations to people. When you are choosing your technology, make sure you're selecting technology that is moving forward. If they are not improving their systems and just and all they're doing really is maintaining their systems, and you know that because they're not coming out with, oh, Smart Vault's going to be able to do fetch doc, you know, you know, get documents. And we're, we're going to talk a little bit about that. But the different things that the software can do and they're always improving and they're listening to people. So you've got to think about that. What do you think, Daniel? Yeah, absolutely. As I've led products for several years now, and that's, you know, the biggest thing that I'm passionate about is making sure that everything comes back to workflow. And that's when you really see our mission is to make people productive and happy. And that just goes straight into workflow because with Smart Vault, we are looking at adding that functionality. And you, you mentioned request docs. Thanks for that, that shout out. That's one of the things that we brought on in between last tax season and today, we added the ability for you just to say, hey, I need these list of documents from you person. You can either customize that list per per client or what I recommend if you're, especially if you're a little bit larger firm, just create a generalized document. We allowed it to where it gives a lot of power to your users and your clients because they can say, hey, you know, I'm not a gambler. Maybe the gambling winnings don't matter to me or W2, I have multiple W-2s. I switched jobs mid-year and my wife switched jobs. And now I need to add those on. We allowed you to put as many documents onto that as possible and really makes it smooth to where when you hit submit, Don's going to get that notification that says, hey, Fritz over here has completed these things. And now that really saves you a lot of time than either looking through client by client or looking through the email notification list that can get, you, you guys all know, you know, come early March, late February, all of a sudden that notification email is a mile long and you're, it's not efficient. So we really bring so, it back to where you can say, Hey, this is where it is. And so, yeah, getting it started now, getting it solidified, you still, you guys, uh, the other 80% on this call that aren't using smart vault, you have plenty of time. You guys can get set up with smart vault today. Talk to Ivy, talk to those guys. Yeah. So Daniel, we, this is a great, and I, I love to, we have slides and slides are great, but I, I really love to have the interaction with the with the audience that they're asking questions. We wanna answer them as we kind of yeah. go um, because it's relevant to what we're talking about. But there were two, actually one of them was the fetch documents um, from the clients to get the documents from the clients. That's just in SmartFall. You just have to be in the right view to do that. Is that right, Daniel? Yes, there is. Uh, if you're on an old, older tax prep plan, you may not have it. Uh, but if you're on any of our accounting products that we've had starting in like 2014, 2015, that's going to be in there. So if you're on Accounting Pro, you can definitely re reach out to our support team. They'll help guide you. But yes, it is only available in that new view that we're looking for. It's along that left side. You can't miss. It's got the big square uh, new next to it. So check that out. And Honestly, our, our onshore support team that's based here in Houston, they are stellar. They want to help you guys be successful. So you're that's ready awesome. to go. That's awesome. And then one other person before I get into this whole concept of the starting lineup, which is just really exciting, um, is to think about as far as those of you who maybe have eons of file cabinets, maybe you ha don't have online document storage at this point or a portal for your clients or whatever the case may be. 
So my recommend is there any training? Absolutely. The, the, te the support staff at yeah. Smart Bank can Tons. help you 100%, right? Um, and, and I would just want to say from a mindset perspective, if you're one of those people, it's okay. Mm -hmm. The best thing is that you're making a decision to do something different. And I think that that's more impressive than anything, FYI, for the person who asked the question, okay? And what I always say is, you know what? Start somewhere. So either you say, you know what? We're gonna start with 2021. We're gonna start uploading documents. I, I recommend if you are near a local university, there are accounting students who need internships. There's accounting students who might want a little, a little part-time job that could come in you set up, and, and SmartBolt does a great job of training you on a, a folder structure and all that kind of stuff, but don't get yourself so overwhelmed that you're like, oh my goodness, I have all of this. It's nope, we're gonna, we're gonna compartmentalize, we're gonna do one thing at a time to get started, right? Right, Daniel? Yeah, you just wanna get started. You wanna, you wanna dip your toes in there and see and understand, even if you're just jump, jumping in there and starting with a small portion, and yeah, I, I really love the shout out to the interns and stuff like that. You've got some really tech savvy people at these universities that'll pick yeah. this up really fast. I know there was a couple questions in there about that training. And I, like, we, we can provide like a one-on-one -on -one type training to you and your staff. Let me put it to you this way. Those sessions are about an hour long. Uh, Smart Vault does not take a lot of training. It's really simplistic. And if you are used to saying like, oh, I know exactly where that file is in, in the back, you know, rotating file cabinets, you're going to love the fact that you could stay exactly where you're at and just type in their name and just pull up every single document that you have. And, and all you have to do at that point, just scan things in. We have a lot of integrations talking about our integrations from earlier with like Fujitsu scanners and things like that. Really make right. it easy to transition. Yeah, absolutely. And then somebody else did make a mention. I'll make it real quick. But if you are a sole practitioner, you can subscribe for one user. There's no minimum. If it's just you, you're the only one who's going to be doing it. You sign up. And you get yourself, you know, in there and get started, ready to go. So, so we're going to move on here a little bit to a winning tax season requires A players in your starting lineup, meaning the best players. You know, when I, as a, as a coach, as a softball coach, we want to put the best players on the field that day who are ready to go, who had, you know, were prepared for preseason and actually can do the job at whatever position they're playing. OK, and so this is my starting lineup. It doesn't mean it has to be yours. But what I love about this slide is that you can go, you can print this slide out. You can cross out all of my stuff and fill yours in. But the one thing we do know about baseball and softball is if you don't have a first baseman, you aren't going to win the game because there's going to be nobody there to catch the ball. I mean, it seems really simple, right? Same, now, Smart Vault's our catcher. We say that because they're the document catcher. That's why we like to make them the catcher. Smart Vault's catching and capturing all the documents that we need to securely store for our clients or obtain from them. So in your practice, you have to have practice management, client management, document storage, some automated bookkeeping tools. Bookkeeper, bookkeepers, oh my goodness, I found that at Scaling New Heights, has absolutely transformed us not having to enter anything from PayPal or Square or um, there's a whole bunch of apps and you can check them out. But having, having payroll processing, all of these positions on this starting lineup are required to run an efficient and profitable tax, tax firm. Now, you can agree, disagree, doesn't matter. It's totally cool. Maybe you, only have, maybe you and your firm only have nine positions and those are your critical positions. But you've got to have the right technology filling in those slots that keep you productive. I'm going to give you some examples. With SmartFault, all my power of attorneys, I know exactly where every power of attorney is in SmartFault for all of my clients. I know that 100%. With uh, using Canopy, I love to be able to go pull a transcript to, so I can see what estimated payments were made for certain clients, different things like that. So the way you're running your firm, I do quoting through Quotient currently. Soon to come, there'll be a change in who we use for quoting, but for now, that's what we use. Um, really exciting stuff. But just having that process, and we've started, I sent out all my quotes over the weekend. They're all out there. What I love about it is I know how much potential there is to make during tax season this year. We're, we're at about 200,000. We're not a big, big firm um, where there's three of us that work here, but we're doing you know $200,000 worth of tax returns. That number will grow. We get referrals pretty often, but being able to just say, hey, accept my engagement, accept the price. I increased all of my prices this year. I've had no one reject my quote yet. So I encourage you also to do that. I love to give kind of like little nuggets as to what your 
um, what you're doing as far as that goes. So the whole concept of the starting lineup, I guess, is what I what I want to make sure you understand. You have to have these positions filled by a really awesome A player technology solution, and it has to be able to work for you. Daniel, what do you think? Yeah, absolutely, Don. You know, as I look at this list and everything, you know, we integrate with Lysio, we integrate with QuickBooks, we integrate with uh, with the QBO, whether using Quick Doc, QuickBooks desktop or QBO. I know that you and I have talked about having backups of every single QBO that you're sharing, saving within SmartVault, and that's really, really key. And yeah, all these other things are going to make it to where you're the most efficient thing, even in my world, in the development world, you know, so we don't, obviously we don't use SmartVault to develop SmartVault. We utilize a really key uh, concert of a lot of different tools. So for some examples there, internally we use Slack, which integrates great with Jira, which is a product development organizational tool. I use um, Ahov to manage our roadmaps and all of that stuff is intertwined together. And so whether you're a tax professional or not, you know, I'm being in the technology realm, uh, having a starting lineup of technology and processes that you use is truly that home run that, that you're describing. So I totally agree, print this slide out, put it in there and yeah, I'm gonna be a little bit partial here. Hey, Smart Vault, being that catcher, being the central document repository for everything about your business. So even Don's keeping her personal stuff in there. I have a personal uh, Smart Vault account that just came in super handy uh, this last week. I needed my passport number and I just wasn't near it. And I was able to pull it directly up in my, my personal Smart Vault and there it was, I, it took me two seconds. And, and my passport was with my wife, like on the complete other side of the airport. So when I look at those things, what no matter what you're doing and how you're doing, especially when we talk about this, make sure you have that lineup because it's so key. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So I wanted to show you, because some people ask, how does all everything integrate? Well, I've made this awesome graphic. I think it's pretty, pretty cool, but- uh, I like it's it. Or tax prep I just the colors it's just so pretty I just kind of want to stare at it but it, it just describes how things are integrating and working and, and, and when I say it with smart vault too just to keep in mind what's great about it is even if it doesn't directly integrate with your tax software it has the solution with the driver and allows you to use it at just like you would use a cert user would use it so it has that secure driver that you're going to work with so this is kind of how things integrate um, I know somebody had mentioned something about integration with Lysio. Do you want to talk a little bit about that, Daniel? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the ways that we work with Lysio is that they can directly put information into Smart Vault. So if you're utilizing their management organization and their tax management technology, you're, they're able to send requests via those text messages and all of the great client communications. And the thing was, is that that's what they're really good at. But when I met up with Chris and Sakar over there at Lysio, they said, look, we don't want to be a document storage solution. We want you guys to do that. And we want to do all these really cool communication things. And I said, man, that's perfect because we want to be the most secure, the most reliable, the most scalable document storage for any size firm that we work with. And so that's what we do. They can put those in there. And when you are sending to get signature, whether you use DocuSign with us, as you can see on this graphic, or with Lysio, they use Adobe Sign. Whatever works in that lineup for you guys is going to be what works best for you. And Smart Vault can truly be that central document repository that supplies that document everywhere. So with Lysio, you get to the point where you have a return ready to go. You just go into Lysio and pull directly from Smart Vault that and so it's always, it's not going down to your local machine, which is unsecure, as we all know, all the you know frightening things around cybersecurity and all of that. It's going from Lysio directly to Smart Vault in both directions, which makes it key in the workflow. Yeah, absolutely. And I know you were going to do a little bit of a demo. Um, yeah. We talked about that. Do, you, do we want to do that now or are we going to do that a little bit later? Uh, we can absolutely jump into it now. I can kind of talk through some of those couple of pieces. I'm ready. Yeah, I think I think people really want to see that. So sharing, I guess I will stop sharing my screen. I will steal the show here. Steal it, Dan. That's awesome. There we go. I've got it. All right. You can see right here is that request box that we've been talking so much about. I, I'm on a 2020 version of Accounting Pro. I can see that right down here. And some of the cool things that you can do with Smart Vault, beyond everything that you see there, we have the Smart Vault inbox, the drive. If you're on a Mac, especially the Smart Vault drive makes it really, really easy to get that information over. I'm going to utilize the connected desktop here in just a second with my version of Lacert 
2020. And we have all of these different areas. We have an Outlook plugin where you can sync your emails directly in, which is really, really cool. But before I show any of that, let's start really, really where it would start. If you have an ongoing client or an existing client or a new client, you can either add them in LeCert, print them over, or just add them here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and go for request docs. And so let's do Mac Jones. How about that, Don? Here we go. And yeah, gonna... Mac Jones. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So you can see Mac here. I have <laughs> so I've got this individual template here. Now you'll notice that I've got a couple of required documents there and lots of not required ones. I can control this. And this takes two seconds, guys, to augment. I go into my view templates. Here's my individual one. Let me edit that. And guess what? Let's make these two required. I can save those changes. Takes me 10 seconds, come right back over to request docs. And in this case, when I go and find my Mac Jones here, I can send multiple if I wanted to here. Excuse me. So you can see all of the different ones. If I wanted to send one to the Sadoffs, Liz, etc., I have the capability of doing that. Oh, wrong button there. Sorry about that, guys. All right. I'm going to choose again that individual template. Now you can see, it took me five seconds. That thing is is required. It's going to be for a tax engagement. Since I'm going to do 2020 uh, through Lacert, I'm going to show you guys that it it'll actually create these folders here. I'm going to use 2021 in this case. You can provide some instructions here. I like to put that in caps so that you guys can see it. And then I'm going to go ahead and send the request. So a couple things happened there. I had not actually created a tax engagement for Matthew Jones yet. And you can see that because over here, oh, it's already there. It has already been created right there, TY21 in my connected desktop. I was, I was too slow for my own software, but that's totally <laughs> okay. That's totally what okay. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up. I'm now logged in as Mac Jones. I know it's a little small, but you guys gotta trust me on that one. Uh, you'll see up here, quickly upload your documents. I'm gonna refresh this screen. And what you'll notice in that, in the center of that screen, they upload documents, there's now gonna be a requested documents button. And that is key because it's right here on the thing. And oh, by the way, guys, this will scale with the size of your screen, AKA if you're looking at this on a phone, you're gonna be able to request these documents and they're gonna be able to see that and support it on their phone. So here you see big caps instructions, able to look in here and see exactly what's required. So, hey, here's my W-2. I mentioned this a little earlier, say, hey, I'm not a gambler. Here's the W-2G, this one's required because I just made it required, but I can say, hey, that doesn't, that doesn't apply to me. And that gives the power to your clients. You get through this, they can add comments. It's really simplistic. It's a simple drag and drop. I've got a couple of uh, testing tax files here that I'm gonna pull over just from my other screen. Got a 1099, I got a couple other things. And so you can see these are loading in. Now, the nice thing is, is, is as, uh, it looks like I grabbed that one twice, that's okay. You'll notice the submit button's not ready to go. I can't click it, there's nothing I can do there. However, from Don's side, from you guys as the firm user, I can go ahead and review this in real time and see that these documents have been loaded. So if I wanted to look at this transcript, I can immediately look in here and see exactly, hey, this is exactly right. That's what I'm looking for. Absolutely. So, so same principle there. Now let's talk a little bit about LeCert. So I've talked and showed, hey, let's let's get that document in. You've requested documents, everything's ready to go. You've verified everything. You've marked it as complete and say, all right, I'm ready to do my taxes. You do your taxes and you come up here and you print. This is what Don's talking about, guys. This is so cool, you guys. Like, freaks me out. It's right here. It is not a choice as far as like, oh, I'm choosing a printer in that case. This is, we have a relationship and a true integration in there for us to print these. I'm just going to print the government copy and the, uh, the client copy here. So obviously, I'm going to have some errors in my assert here. So don't be surprised if you see some bypassing here. Sorry about that. But what's what's really critical here is that you guys noticed a second ago, I only had that TY21 right here. I'm using 2020 in Lacert. So I already have Mac Jones. I have my client ID that I created. I had this one because it was the one that I had the request docs creation. But now, let me make sure that I'm fully bypassed over there, Don. Yeah, get bypassed over there. We go. Gotta bypass it. <laughs> and and as we look at that and we get to this point and say, all right, I'm gonna refresh this. Now I now have the TY20. And what do you guys notice if I uh, kind of pull these in here? These are exactly the same. The only added one is gonna be that request docs because I have the request docs for the 21. 
but you see, this is what we're talking about structure. So when I go to Mac Jones or if I go to my, my wife and if she has taxes, guys, look at this, it's going to look exactly the same every single time. The structure is there. You're bringing on new staff. It's super, super easy to make sure that you have all the stuff going into the right documents. Now let's go back over here to Mac. Now in Mac, you'll notice these went straight into the client tax returns right here. And that's by design. We tag that. We tag it so that these documents go into the right folder. You are in control. You can rename this. We have client organizer, client source documents. You can just say, change that to upload your documents here. So yeah, absolutely. I've got Mac Jones here. Like, like we mentioned, we should pro uh, Don probably uh, printed this from Quotient. Get everything down in there. She, now she's got her 8879 ready to go. You can go right in here, opening up this document. I can see it in real time. And oh, it pulled up over here, sorry. So there's my 8879. Now what I can do, say that again? It was a lot of money. That was a lot of money. I saw that today. And one of the thing, cool things that we have is we have the Git e-signature right here. We are completely integrated in with DocuSign. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure, Don. I didn't. That's the one thing I didn't check here. I that's don't know okay. if we're actually integrated. Yep. Yeah, I didn't figure we were, that's but that's okay. okay. It's, it's really simplistic. Okay. Go for it. I'll, I'll just give a quick explanation. So basically, by going through that dashboard, the connected desktop, and hitting the Git signature, it'll open up. You have to you have to pay for them right so it opens up DocuSign and you can then drop the signature and it's knowledge-based authentication so it's 100 percent legit okay and so we go ahead and we send the DocuSign the 8879 through DocuSign well what's magical about that is once they sign it it goes directly back into that same folder you never have to touch it twice mm -hmm. and that's what I love about it I don't want to have to touch it twice so that's kind of the 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 workflow that that we use here at Powerful Accounting. And I'm literally just clicking, guys. I'm clicking and I'm getting it done and I'm moving on. I'm not ruffling papers all around or anything. This is all done securely right through SmartVault. Yeah. And there a question came across about organizers. If you're in, if you are in LACERT or Pro Series, you can go to view generate organizers and you can still choose to print a SmartVault. That's why you see this client organizer file here and you can print all of those directly and we actually have bulk send uh, information as well and just a really quick uh, we integrate solely with DocuSign uh, Lysio does integrate with Adobe Sign so it really depends on like where it fits in your workflow if you would rather it be on that side that's totally fine I'm not I want to make sure I'm in this to make sure you guys have the right tools to be successful and that's what's key. right absolutely um, okay, so do we want to go back to the deck? Let's go back to the deck. Yes, all right. You are now the pres you are now the presenter again, Don. It's all you. I love the control. I really do. Okay, so we got these things called practice plays. Okay, and, and practice plays are fun because everybody should have practice plays, right? So the first practice play, and this is great workflow information. This isn't only about Smart Vault. This is other applications that you could be utilizing to improve your processes and be more efficient. I'm using, like I said, Quotient. I'm going to be switching that for next tax season because there's a new app coming out that I'm super pumped about. I can't tell you anything else other than that. Um, so Quotient, we go ahead and we create our quotes, which are also our engagement letter. So I want you to keep that in mind. So we send our quotes out. The people all accept it. that They're accepting the engagement and the price right at that time. Now, if obviously I do all mine by the form, I don't know if that's obvious, um, all of my tax returns are prepared and, and charged by the form. And so if there's additional forms, Tracy watches out for that because what happens is when we go to create our invoice in LACERT, it should match the quote. If LACERT says, no, you had a couple of extra forms, so the price isn't a thousand, it's 1500, she'll notify the client, hey, updated quote, you had more work to do, we're gonna charge you more. And then once they accept it, we push it into QBO, which I love desktop, you guys, I get it. I'm using <laughs> QBO because it does integrate with everything. And so um, we push those in and then we also print the quote to SmartVault. So no, does Quotient integrate directly with SmartVault? No, but we use the print functionality with the print driver from Quotient to SmartVault. So the client has that as a permanent document, permanent storage in SmartVault for them. It's awesome. Then we have Lysio who passes the ball to SmartVault. So here's another piece of our practice, practice plays. Reducing that chaos, having that secure and centralized document. So Lysio may be grabbing documents from people. This is something, Daniel, I want you to talk a little bit more about because you and Chris have been really working on this. The chasing of the documents is torture. 
So yes. So go ahead. Why don't you so, Why don't you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. So, so when we think about Lysio, we it is it is the best client communication tool out there, and I know you use it. I know I would if I was a accounting professional, that's what I would go down with. But it's for us, when we, me and Chris met, it's all about making it easier on you guys. So you can use the request docs. We're going to be adding it to where that request docs link is going to go directly into Lysio. Um, I saw that working uh, last week in our staging environment. So I'm very excited about that. But that's where it handles the ball. It handles that communication, gets those back in there. And especially those one-off requests at the very end of like, oh, crap, we didn't, we missed this. Oh, goodness, we don't have that file. Send it in Lysio. Get that really quick and just download it down into directly into Smart Vault because there is a way to go directly from Lysio into Smart Vault. I know that that was one of the questions that had come up a little earlier. And so you don't have to chase documents. You're just texting somebody and say, I need this document in order to complete your stuff. And it is an open task. Utilizing right. Lysio in that fashion makes it so much easier. All the communication is held within there. And especially if you're going to do it at the very beginning, use Smart Vault and send that a template that applies to 95% of your clients, save yourself the time and effort, send that out and just in the message, just say, Hey, there's a little slidey bar at the top, right? That says that if it doesn't apply, say it doesn't apply and just move on and, and just don't get stuck. That way you're providing documents going straight into smart vault. And then if you're chasing, use it there, whatever works best with your workflow. So, um, okay. Now let's take a look. Go ahead, Daniel. Share right, your screen. You, which, which screen can you see at this point? I see your folder structure. So you want to pull up uh, the Lacert screen would be good. All right, give me one second here. This is really cool. There's, there's, what I love there about we, it. Again, so sorry. Just, there we go. All right, I'm in Lacert. So here we go, guys. We need to send the 8879 like we were saying through the connected that that desktop where we can send it through DocuSign. So go ahead to Forms, Daniel. You're going to go to Forms. Yeah, we're in Forms. And we're going to literally just click on the 8879. So you're just going to uh, select that. And yep. So yeah. Yep. Hold on. <laughs> Uncheck I'm the right. show all box there, buddy, too. You could do that. And then you don't have all that other garbage. Oh, but whatever. Very nice. There we go. And gotcha. A little tip if those of you didn't know that. All right. So now we're going to go over to the right where we hit print form. And it's going to say this page only. Now, if you hit settings real quick, uncheck file and click smart vault. Uncheck go to the right. Bang, hit OK. Now we're going to hit OK again. That's going to print it right to their folder where you can go and then and then go ahead and send it through that connected desktop. So um, just it's phenomenal. So that's just how to print. Now, also, if you want to yeah, go ahead, if you want to show them where it showed up and landed, there it right is. Right there in tax returns. Done. Go back to Lacert for me, Daniel. I'm, I love bossing Daniel around. This is really fun. This is so perfect. I love this. I feel like I'm getting a, a crash course in accounting right here. It's fun. If it, so, if you're if you're dealing with partnerships or S corps and you need K ones printed, so Daniel, if you want to shoot over to a partnership, I don't know if you have one set up or not. I don't know if I have a partnership set up. I don't think it's so. Upper upper left there, upper left where it says client, and then you're gonna go to tax type. Yep. You don't have any. That's okay. That's if you right. do the same way we just printed the tax return to Smart Vault. You, you notice print. when you're in the print screen, there is a but there will be a K1 button at the top of the screen. You click that, and then you won't be able to see it, Daniel, because it's yeah. there's not a partnership here. But it's it just you're just clicking and if like I have one client that has a hundred partnerships, it puts all 100 K1s right into their folders, named and everything, masked social security numbers, all of that, so that the so that the client can send out their K1 packets. And I think that that's, again, such a really great tool to print all at one time. Um, okay, so I'm going to take the screen back so you can unshare. And all I right. will show my screen and we'll get through these slides. I know, I hope that you guys are you learning go. some good tips because, you know, we could sit here and just read slides for you. But I find that really just giving you guys really solid information is what you're looking for. Yeah. So then again, we talked a little bit about this, Smart Vault, Lysio, Carbon, Intuit Practice Management all of those they integrate as well we're not going to get too much into detail because we don't have time for it but um carbon's another tool we've used in the past carbon um driving client data to smart vault and so we have the ability to link folders in carbon and do different things like that like i said we're not we don't have a lot of time to do all of them but it's just most important to know that having smart vault 
be able to work within other applications like Carbon, like Lysio, like QuickBooks Online, QuickBooks Desktop, where we're storing receipts and things like that. We've got to have that. So another practice play is just having your document storage working with your project practice management uh, tool and workflow. Okay, with CERT plays perfectly with SmartFault and DocuSign. With CERT also works with Carbon. It also works with Intuit Practice Management. Some other just you know FYI food for thought. Okay, so we've showed you the LaCert SmartFault DocuSign integration, which I think really works smooth, works really well, and it's just so simple for us to be able to manage that workflow. In this, and this is how it works: LaCert to SmartFault to DocuSign. So it's really awesome. Um, so Ernest asked, is there an automated way to print all the e-file forms out of LaCert? So I'm not exactly sure, Ernest, so if you can get a little more detail in there, because I'd like to answer that so we can just make sure that we get, get your question answered there. Yeah, this yeah. I, I think this is what really people are interested in, Don. So how much, using Smart Vault and your, the rest of your lineup with Alicio, Carbon and such, how much do, how much do you save? How much money we, do you make by doing that? Yeah, so literally thinking about that workflow of doing a tax return, pushing it to SmartFault, pushing it to DocuSign. We seriously don't print more than 10 tax returns a year now. Our clients are all happy to get them through SmartFault. If they need to print them, they print them themselves. I do charge a hundred bucks to print them. I'm like, you know what? I understand there's elderly people who don't have printers and things like that, but for the most part, we just don't have a, see a need for printing tax returns. We, based on our billable hours and the amount of time on average, was about 135 hours of total time with the volume of clients that we have, the amount of work that we do. If, if you look at billable time, we're saving about $30,000. That factors in administrative time for Tracy, administrative time for Kyle, who's really the one that puts together my tax returns um, you know, and handles all the documents because he's able to scan things for those that mail things. The cost savings, 30 grand is a lot of money, guys. And you know what I also have the ability to do? I have the ability to go to coach softball during tax season because we are that efficient. And I think it's just really a, a really big testimony, um, you know, being able to have that type of savings during such a short critical time. Although here, somebody said earlier, it's been a two year tax return, tax season, and they're right about that. And so, you know, we can use a, this great example and a great question. We can use SmartFault to send a copy of a tax return. Say a client says, hey, this is my banker. We're refinancing. And you send send the tax return I, to I me. just answered that on chat. Like, as you're describing that, you were right? faster than us. We, you can absolutely, you have unlimited uh, client access. So we just would add that person to SmartVault, give them access just to that one document. You can do that. Mm -hmm. And send it off to the banker. Done. Safe, secure. It's in that smart vault portal, and we're and we're really and, and it's it. and it's not going off into the ether. You know, that's that's the the fear so much of today. Even when I was on uh, vacation, I, you have to be diligent all the time. Now, I got a text message that says, "Hey, this is my boss, Dania," and so I looked at that and I said, my immediate response, like I was relaxing. I wasn't in work mode, but I have to be so diligent at all times and that's this is where smartball can really prevent that it's like hey i'm not going to send you documents over email i'm not going to be sending you random text messages you're going to go through listio and communicate with me you're going to log into smartball and get that information that's keeping you and your practice safe absolutely absolutely and somebody mentioned about remote workers i'll tell you what right now i have remote workers oh we already did that question um, we have remote workers, so it's awesome to be able to have one central document destination for everyone wherever they may be. Or if I'm in Florida for softball and I need to maybe do a tax return while I'm down there or something, it's safe and secure. I'm able to access those documents and be able to prepare a tax return no matter where I am. And I think that that's one of the most exciting uh, pieces of it. Um, just having that work optimization, the return on investment of being able to access documents from anywhere. I was on the beach one day and somebody asked me what their AGI was. They were filling some form out. I pulled it right up on my phone. It didn't stop them. They were able to move on. I was able to answer them quickly and just keep that going. So it wasn't like I had to get back to the office and answer 80,000 text messages or emails. So I think mm -hmm. that that's a big, a big uh, plus. Makes you more profitable and for sure. So one of the things so that wanted to mention before I launched this last polling question. So you'll get an ebook 
for everybody that attended here today. So thank you so much for coming. That's awesome. We appreciate that. I also have like my price list and some disengagement letters. Like if you're firing a client or you've got a new client, some, some free resources that I love to just offer out. Most people don't like to share their price list. I don't care. If you text uh, to number 55444 and you text team bro in all one word, you'll get access to the price list and things like that. We want to give you, and I put some free resources up there as I think that they're, you know, good for people to take a look at. So I'm really excited to be able to offer that to you. So feel free to take advantage of that for sure. But today, if you schedule a demo with SmartFault, you will get a copy of the ebook, The Designated Motivator for Accounting Professionals, where all of this information is definitely much more spelled out. Obviously, it's a book, right? So um, we want to offer that out to all of you. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and launch that po last polling question. But Daniel, anything you want to add to that? Uh, no, I honestly, you summed it up really good there, Don. You know, we're just, we're here to help support you guys. We're, we want to be a partner with your firm and we're really excited for all of your your potential successes um, for everybody on this call. So we'd love to have you as part of the Smartball family. And Yes, really appreciate it. And I hope that like you guys all took something away and I really hope you came into this open-minded. Thanks everybody. Everybody.